Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Custom Exceptions. In this tutorial, we will learn about Custom Exceptions and Usage of Throw and Throws Keywords. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 OS, JDK 1.7 and Eclipse 4.3.1. To follow this tutorial, you must have basic knowledge of exceptions handling in Java. If not, for relevant Java tutorials, please visit the link shown. First, let us learn about custom exceptions. Custom exception is a user-defined exception class. It is usually created as checked exceptions. It is used to customize the exception according to user need. Now, we will open Eclipse and create a new project called Custom Exception Demo. Inside this project, we will create the necessary classes to demonstrate custom exceptions. We will create a new class Invalid Mark Exception. To make this as a type of exception class, it should be a subclass of Java Exception class. To do so, type Extends Exception. Click on Source menu and then select Generate Constructors from Superclass. Now, click on Deselect All button in the right hand side. Then, select the constructor with a single string argument and click on OK button at the bottom. This string argument can be used to customize the message shown when this exception occurs. Let us add another class named Student Marks. Then type the following code. This class contains only one variable named marks. This constructor initializes the value of marks. Let us now add a method to validate the marks. The normal range of marks is from 0 to 100. If marks less than 0 or greater than 100 is processed, invalid mark exception will be thrown. For this, we need to use the throw keyword explicitly to throw a custom exception. If the mark is a valid one, the message entry OK will be displayed. We can see that there is an error invalid mark exception. Let us check and resolve it. So click on the error and double click add throws declaration. We can see that the error disappears once the throws invalid mark exception is added to the method signature. Here we can see that the throws keyword is used along with methods. It indicates that the method will raise the specified exception. We have to provide the exception handling code when such a method is called. Next, let us perform a file access operation which will raise a file not found exception. So type the following code to create an instance of a file reader class. Eclipse will show some errors as we have not imported the corresponding Java packages. To rectify the same, click on the error and then double click import file reader Java IO. We will learn about package and its usage in detail in a later tutorial. To allow FR to access a file called marks which is located in the home folder, type the following code. The path shown here is to be replaced with that of your system's home folder. An error shows that this line of code can raise a file not found exception. We can resolve it by adding this exception in the throws class. We can see that file not found exception is also added to the throws class. We can handle multiple exceptions using throws as shown here. We will now create the main method inside the student marks class and verify the results. Here we create an object m1 initialized with 40 as the value for marks. In the next line, we invoke the method validate using the object m1. We can see that there is an error when the validate method is invoked. It says that this method will raise the invalid mark exception and file not found exception. 
To reserve the error, we can add throws class to main method as we did earlier. But it is recommended to use try and catch block. So double click surround with try catch. Now the necessary try catch blocks are added and the exception has been handled. Now let us run this program. It displays entry OK and rest of the code. This happens because the value of marks 40 is a valid entry. Let us now change the value to minus 10 which is an invalid entry. We will run the program again. Now we can see that the invalid mark exception is thrown as minus 10 is an invalid entry. Since we have handled the exception, we can see the message rest of the code. Instead, if we use throws class, this message rest of the code will not be printed. Also, the program will be terminated. So, it is better to use a try catch block when a method is called inside the main method. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about what is a custom exception, usage of throw and throws keywords, how to create and use custom exceptions. As an assignment, create a custom exception class called invalid age exception, create another class age and create a constructor to initialize the value of age, also create a method validate through throw an exception if the age is less than 18, create objects inside the main method and invoke the validate method, provide exception handling using try catch blocks wherever required, verify the custom exception class. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorial and gives certificates on passing the online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Department of Information Technology, Amal Chodi College of Engineering. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.